the hot weekend last weekend, young kids come along, jump in the river. Apparently nine out of 12 teenage kids got sick. No one else is testing this particular part of the river. So uh, we feel that as part of our role as uh, looking after the river, we should be doing this testing as citizen science. There is a lot of support to monitor and protect our local rivers. And it is really great that we now have a community water testing lab within our premises here so that that team of volunteers can go out, do that really important work and testing and share the results. The best part of my job has been working with community led initiatives like this that are working towards generating really high quality, broad scale citizen science data that we can use to try and leave, bring about the change that we need to see. We try and gather independent evidence that we can use to target, develop and then deploy mitigation strategies, nature-based solutions that are going to have a positive impact on the health of the rivers. Because everything happens on the land, ultimately ends up in our rivers. So in many ways, the rivers are an indicator of the health of the wider landscape and the importance and the impact that our evidence and data has in facilitating change. So some of the work that Kat and the team are doing through the Casto programme, how do we integrate that data, so kite mark standard, so we can bring all that data together and play it back to government, water companies and all those others with both the money and the power to make decisions to facilitate the change that we want. Initially, this lab is going to focus on testing E. coli in this region. And to be clear, E. coli isn't the only bacteria that ends up in our rivers that we need to worry about. But because we know a lot about it, we know that it likes to hang out in the digestive tracts of animals and humans. So it's a really good indicator of bacterial pollution. So by using this lab and allowing the people to take ownership of tracking that bacterial pollution in the river, is a huge leap forward in the right direction. And it's something that we still be really proud of. When we start to understand where these sources of organic pollution are, we can then look to bring in other technologies like microbial source tracking and eDNA that will allow us to sort of drill down more into what is causing those things. Like, is it sewage or is it things like agriculture? You can sponsor an individual E. coli test or there's also the opportunity to sponsor a testing location along the river. I wish you all kind of continue to be revolutionaries, so thank you. Okay.